seems as if voxels are being used more and more nowadays and the good thing about this is that they have a really nice style to them and they're really easy to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're going to be learning how to make an object voxely or voxel-like. So uh, today right here I have, uh, I have Suzanne the monkey, and uh, with Suzanne select, this, this is the easiest thing by the way, if we go over here to the modifiers tab and hit add modifier, right, and then go to remesh, you'll be able to tell that something really weird happens, that's because we need to change this mode from sharp to blocks and instantly you can see a voxel type shape start to form but we need to bump up the depth of this because we're getting a bit of gaps so we're gonna bump that up a couple times maybe to seven and you can also play around with the scale by the way so we might do like uh two see what it looks like maybe we'll go it doesn't go up to two let's go to 0.5 i think the smaller the bigger yeah the smaller num the number the bigger the blocks are all right so that's pretty good that is our voxel that is our voxel suzanne right there that is literally the coolest thing ever i uh, i love voxels i love pixel graphics and that looks awesome especially compared to what we started with um so i i love that that's something really quickly i just want to show you guys uh so i hope you guys learned something new <laughs> with this uh with this awesome voxel uh feature i'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye